Hey, what is going on guys? It is iFade here and welcome back to a brand new tutorial. Now, I've actually done this tutorial in the past, but looking back at it now, I didn't really explain it good. And plus, it was on an older version of Dark RP, therefore making it outdated. And plus, it was in 2015, also adding to the point that it was outdated. So today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make custom jobs for Dark RP in 2018 going into 2019 because it'll be the same. There's no way it's going to change again. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Now, I'm also going to assume that you guys also have your own Dark RP server already made because I don't know why you'd be watching this if you didn't. So if you do, let's proceed on with the video. So we're going to go to our Dark RP directory, our custom server. We're going to go to Gary's Mod, Add-ons. Now, this might be empty. This might be full. It depends if you added add-ons or not. If you did, that's completely fine. If you didn't, that's also completely fine. But you're going to have to download a brand new add-on for your server if you don't have it already, which I'm going to say you don't because you're watching a tutorial on how to make jobs. So you want to go to the first link in the description. Now it's going to be providing you with a add-on called Dark RP Modification Dash Master. You're going to need this to make any custom entities or weapons or shipments or jobs or categories on your server without editing core Dark RP files. So once you have that, go ahead and extract it to your add-ons folder in your server. Open it up. Go to Lua custom things now you're going to see all these these are going to be used to customize your server as much as you want but we're only going to be focusing on jobs and categories today so we're going to start off with the easiest one which is categories and also you're going to want to right click this and you're going to make sure you have notepad plus plus because you will need it that'll be the second link in the description now once you have notepad plus plus installed if you already do that's great go and right click categories.lua edit with notepad plus plus and this window will come up here and there will be nothing in it under the add new categories under the next line should be completely blank so we're going to click the line we're going to do two spaces so you'll see line 24 come up now you're going to want to click the third link in the description which also takes you to the ifade category template on pastebin you're going to want to scroll down to the raw paste data go ahead and right click copy make sure you have it all highlighted minimize the window and paste it on line 24. now you're going to see the name come up. Now, just know that you don't have to make a citizens tab and everything. It's already pre-made in Dark RP core files. But we are going to be making a thief job for this video purpose. So, obviously, you're not going to put the thief under the citizens tab. And also, guys, if you really want to save some time, there is this here too. It's just I completely wasted my time and I just noticed that this was here because I'm a fucking retard. But it's whatever. So, for the name, we're going we're gonna to go ahead and switch this to a thief-like name and all criminal activity. So, we're just going to put criminals. And then for categories, you can see you could have jobs, entities, shipments, or weapons, or vehicles. Obviously, it's going to be for a job, so we're going to keep it jobs. For start expanded, this is going to be whether or not when you push F4, you see the jobs under the categories right away or not. I recommend keeping this true because if you have it false, players don't really like that. And then for color, you're going to see RGB and then a fourth value. Now, for this fourth value, I'm going to have a link down in the description of RGB color codes. Now, the fourth value won't be on any RGB, so just always keep this last three digits 255. And then with the RGB, go ahead and customize these first three digits. But I'm not going to do that right now because I don't really care about the colors. So for Ken C, just go ahead and leave this. And then for set order, you can, I've never really messed with this. You can always, like, the lower the number, the lower it's going to be in the F4 screen, the higher it's going to be higher in the F4 screen. Doesn't really matter. Nobody really messes with that anyway. So you can if you want. I'm not going to here. So go ahead and click save. And the easiest part is done. The category has been created for the job. Now we got to make the job itself. Go, go ahead and close out of this window and go to jobs.lua. Right click and edit with notepad++. Now nothing's going to come up under this line again because it's brand new. So you're going to do two lines. It should bring you to line 19. You're going to want to go to the second link in the description, which is the IFA job template. Copy everything. Right click. Copy. Highlight it all. 
pasted on the line 19. Now I'm going to dive into some of this stuff. So here's what's going to pop up in the F4 menu, this name right here. So again, we're making a thief job instead of a gun dealer. So we're just going to go ahead and type in thief. So that's what it's called in the F4 menu. And then for team gun, we're going to want to put team underscore thief. And then for the commands. Now note guys, if you do have two jobs, if you're making two jobs and they have the same command, you're going to want to make sure you guys do not have the same commands for each job. You're going to want to switch up the jobs command every time. So here I have gun dealer for this one. So I'm going to switch it to thief. And then this one's gun dealer, but this one's also team underscore thief. So we got to switch that too. So team underscore gun. And now we could also switch this to gun dealer because this would be the gun dealer job. Now that the command and the team name is switched, you are good to go. You also don't want to have the same name as well. So I'm not going to be making two jobs, but I'm just going to delete that one because I was just showing you guys that you need to switch a command and the team names. So now here's the color, same kind of deal, RGB, RG, and B. And then the fourth digits, keep them as 255. Now for the model, I'm going to link you guys with a really, really handy website that you don't even need to go in game for. So it's called Player Model List by Seasight. Now I'm going to, uh, you could like, you could choose any model you want here, but I'm going to be using the Arctic Player Model. So go ahead and click Copy, Minimize the Window, and paste it between the quotation marks in the model. Now you're going to want to make sure it is grayed out because if it's black, that means you do not have a quotation mark ending it. So go ahead and put one and it should be grayed out and you should have a comma at the end of it. Now for the description, you could go ahead and do what you want. You could you could make this really nice within the two brackets here. So you could be uh you are a criminal, and then you could really get nice. So uh can raid. Yes, can mug. No, you guys get the gist of it. And to end it off, you pretty much just want to have the two brackets here with the comma, and then that's that's what's gonna pop up in the F4 menu for the description of the job. Now for the weapons, this is really easy. So you just want to put a quotation mark and I'm going to be using the default lockpick that always comes on Dark RP. So it's just called lockpick and then end quotation mark. Now, if you guys do want to add multiple weapons after the first weapon, go ahead and put down a comma space quotation mark and whatever weapon you want to add again. So I'm going to go ahead and add weapon underscore pistol quotation mark. Now, if you guys want to add more weapons, keep pushing commas and stuff and keep adding quotation marks and weapons. But if you are on your last weapon you want to add for the job, do not put another comma. You just want to keep a quotation mark, curly bracket, then comma. So next we're moving on to the command, which I already covered. And then max. So this is the max value per job. So this is how many players can become the job. So I'm going to go ahead and put five. I'll allow five thieves on the server. And then the salary is how much money to make per salary cycle. So I'm going to go ahead and put 35 here because why not? And then the admin tag, which this isn't really used at all. Nobody really uses this for staff on duty jobs or anything like that because there's custom checks nowadays. So the admin tag, you, the zero is set for anyone can use this job and one is admin only. So that's admin and anything above that rank. So we're going to keep this a zero because the thief should be able to be accessed by anybody. And then the vote is calling whether or not you need to have a vote to become the thief, which would make no sense at all. So keep that false. And then for license, obviously a thief does not have a license. So go ahead and switch that to false. And then for the categories, we're going to use the category we just made over here, which is the criminal. So you're going to want to make sure the category is spelled exactly as it is right here in the name. So to make sure you can just copy the name and go ahead and paste it into the category tab and go ahead and click save. You guys can now feel free to start your server and the job will be there under the new category. I'm not going to do that because my computer is terrible right now and I cannot record Gmod on 60 plus FPS. But on a good note, I am getting a new computer soon when I do that. You guys can expect weekly or daily videos coming out with new games other than Gary's Mod and even brand new tutorials as well. Also, to explain the introduction of this video, it's my Purge server that I've been making with a few friends recently. And it's really fun. And I decided to put a little trailer in there that my buddy worked on. Credits to Unmasked Cat. Now, guys, the IP for the server is also down in the description below. It is very fun, very easy to get into. So I hope you guys checked it out. Hope you guys liked the video. Go ahead and drop a like and subscribe and turn on post notifications. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.